Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken, we're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore. Highest difficulty, one safe game and no failed runs allowed. Today we're at a mission which is called End of the Line. It's hopefully not the end of the line. We're up for some uh, armor mods, extra padding for an additional hit point. Uh, we are uh, reducing effectively five unrests, so three that is not even going to appear, and two as a reduction, and we'll get some Elarium on top of it. Sounds like a great deal uh, from my perspective. And we only got a single encounter. Seems like a very small side mission. Oh, we're going in hot. That is perfect. 50 dodge, um, stun shots, aim, and even more stun. You know what? For the stun shots. I like this. Give him the stun shot, uh, the extra aim. Could be used and Verge takes uh, the extra dodge for one round. Sounds like a plan. I would still take the usual order. Stay behind me. Breach, breach. Holy shit. Okay, we got a lot of enemies. And we know that phalanx will not um, work against all of them at the same time. The necromancer, by the way, is a pretty nasty fellow. Legionnaire. Get a paladin right there. Yeah, let's start with a necromancer. <clears throat> All right, that's one hit. Nice little critical shot. Now his shots should stun. Well, only if they hit, of course. Oh, we're going to take some damage here. Paladin is stunned, that's good. We probably won't kill the Necromancer. Never mind. <clears throat> Phalanx wouldn't have helped us in this specific case. If you go in via four different entrances, then that's just your stupidity. Normally you shouldn't do that with Phalanx, but I did not have an option. Hmm. Yeah, I wish we had a better, a little bit better angle. We're giving a shield over to Blue Blood. <coughs> also, we're making sure that he acts next. Yeah. 
And then we're taking cover ourselves and getting rid of the Paladin. Could move up to here and hit two of them. I think that's probably the best course of action. Moving up. Using our lightning hands to prep him. Very nice hit. And now it's up to us to either say this is the right uh, play. Yeah, it's Probably this is the right play. Almost killed the bruiser. Almost. Okay, time for Verge to shine. Perfect, that's an extra shot. Well, hello there, great. He's still in the neural network. We're taking out the Viper. Unfortunately, just partially stunned. Well, that's a bummer. But the Legionnaire could deal some damage to her. Or not. We're already getting our hit points back. The Faceless One will now start to charge in. But they can't move far far enough, so that's why I ignored him mostly. Python tries to get Verge. That's a valiant effort. Okay, so how about we are giving ourselves a kinetic shield? Thank you. And take out this guy before Blue Blood here. Takes out the faces one. Nice. Making sure that the Python has no turn. And then making sure that the Python leaves our friend alone. And whilst we're on it, how about we subdue her? Subdued the hostile. Good, we're ending again with full hit points, just mild wounds on Verge. And almost five enemies captured that we could have done a bit better. But that was not even a 10 minute mission. It appears to me that the side missions are always a bit shorter, like one to two encounters, while the story missions are more two to three encounters.
And there we go, training completed for Torque. That's great. And the next training, therefore, is Claymore, also with basic conditioning, which is cool uh, because after this training, the second team has kind of a rudimentary, uh, really solid rudimentary training. And yeah, look at that. I am. We did not have anything else that we needed to do. We're good on credits. So once we upgrade the armor, we might be able to buy some additional shenanigans. In terms of resources that we need, I'm almost inclined to take more intel <clears throat> so that we can upgrade faster. We're okay on Illyrium at the moment. On the other hand, don't be so... Uh, don't rush through that so fast, uh, Saiken, because very soon you are going to start Masterwork Weapons and that means you're not okay on Intel. Quite the opposite, my friend. So, uh, on Illyrium. So we're going for Illyrium again. Locate and dismantle these locations. They won't have anywhere to run. Nice. Hey, you okay? Yeah, mom passed long ago, but this time of year always hits me. Ah. You lose her to the invasion? No, the year before. Cancer. I'm sorry. Thing is, I'm glad she missed all this, you know? That she didn't have to live in a broken world. How messed up is that? It's a common thought. Truly. Thanks, man. That helps. Okay, so a couple of things. Number one, we're anyways going to do a mission very soon here. So might as well... Might as well upgrade the finance piece because we're going to get a reward out of it. By doing that... We're reducing even more of the unrest, which is exactly what we wanted to do. And we can now fully focus on flow control, which is a free field team. Oh, perfect. That's a really nice reward. And we could even apply that free field team to here, giving us like what? Oh, well, that's not bad. Got another quarantine if we need to, and might as well take the major task force to get rid of one city anarchy, because the cooldown isn't that bad. Okay, now to the more important part. We've just re um, upgraded our armor, or researched the upgrade for the armor, and I really want to go for Mastercrafted Pistols next. That's going to open a lot of extra damage. We could use, um, we could quickly do the tactical equipment, like very, very quickly, and go for the Medi patch, or similarly quickly the nano med kits, which isn't bad because it's, it increases everything to six hit points. I think we're going to do that first. And then afterwards, we're going for Mastercrafted Pistols. We got enough Ilarium. <coughs> Excuse me. We got enough Ilarium for all of the weapons, which is great. Now, in terms of supply, Mastercrafted Armor is another hit point boost, an Armor slot, and a Utility Item slot. So that's great. If we're now looking at the team, 
She's rocking 15 hit points and one armor as a standard loadout. That's great. I think what we could do is, since we got a bit of money to spare now, don't need to upgrade anything immediately. I am actually thinking about uh, the Mac Weave. Purchasing it twice. And that will give us a lot of survivability. So, must work uh, armor. She already has the mech weave. Who does not need it is the question. Like, who's the tankiest character? He's pretty tanky. Virtue's pretty tanky by himself. The other option is uh, Blue Blood because Blue Blood's never really outside of cover. He's always operating within cover. But on the other hand, uh, let's give him extra padding for now, and we're giving the Mac Weave to the other characters. Cool. So that is good. I think one of the next uh, uh, options or one of the next investments is effectively going for more weapon upgrades. Uh, we have been very sparse with that so far. Not that this team really needs it because he's always, Virch is always hitting everything. Um, Blue Blood is already hitting everything. Um, we have um, with uh, Cheer Up someone who has an alternative to go into melee and uh, Terminal has so many other abilities that she's could go without shooting for multiple rounds. Okay, so I think we're on the right uh, track. And since it's all, uh, since it's uh, since we just started, uh, might as well do a second mission. So let's take a look at flow control, guys. Okay. Our goal is to extract the VIP before hostiles can overwhelm the position. Get to the evac and get out. Well, that sounds like a great, uh, great job for us. Um, yeah, I think we got everything that we need, to be honest. And with the armor upgrade, we should be more than fine. One armor makes a big difference, by the way, because uh, minus one on all damage taken is pretty significant. Acquired friendly VIP. Hostiles incoming. Get to the evac. Oh, I know that mission. It stinks. You got to be fast. Last unit through this entrance will be routed. Well, that's exactly what we needed, right? Reaching in. Good. We got an adder over here, and let's just use Phalanx. That takes care of her. The Dominator is a real problem. Necromancer is another problem, and the Hitman is also a problem. But the Dominator is by far the most significant problem. Very nice. Gotta be careful with the car. It tends to explode. Spotted the VIP. Deliver that package. All right, we are going to. Get a blood, blood uh, blue blood up here. Wow, our two hit chance isn't that great.
Yeah, I'll maybe uh, keep the grenade for now. Can't fully utilize our charge yet, so we need more time. Which means we're going to give the kinetic shield to Blue Blood for the extra aim. And what we definitely could do is we could Overwatch. Yeah, it's probably not going to trigger is the point. Let's take the 50-50 on the adder. Ah, unfortunately missed. Okay, so that Necromancer can be hit very well. Gotta be careful because uh, this here would explode the car. Can't do that right now. Nice hit. That was good. Great. Alright, he's out. Still got another action available. Might as well crack adder, uh, the adder here. The answer is unfortunately no. Moving over and... Hunker down. Okay, so how we're going to go about that? I would say Verge takes an an action. Hopefully, take out the hitman. Your thoughts are mine. Ah, not quite. He'll still be able to take a shot. Terminal can just heal herself with a medkit for now. No big deal. And she can push the hitman further down. I just don't want to take a shot at the moment. Okay, more so let's take out the bruiser. Yep, he's uh, he's actually stunned. The editor can attack. And we got three in our neural network now. Uh, decent damage, as much as his uh, weapon would have done. Double movement, which is great. And now the hitman will take a shot. And that's where the reinforcements are, by the way, coming in. So we gotta move now. This here would deal a lot of damage and we would um, start moving in the right direction. I like it. This here would be even further and in a good direction. So what we could do is we could... I don't want to lose the technician by the way, so we're giving him a kinetic shield. Seems counterintuitive, but if you only have one try, you don't want to mess it up.
All right, that's eight point of eight points of damage. Let me try again. I do have an idea, and that uh, will even be effective from our action economy. So, how about we're finishing the uh, the adder here? Yeah, I could have done that with neural. No, nah, could couldn't have done it with neural network. So that was a good turn. Um, we're moving over and we're hitting. Plus now we're on Overwatch because we have moved and he is ever vigilant. Technician is starting to move out. Yeah, I think the bruiser is not the problem, it's rather the hitman, to be honest. Moving up with Virch. Tossing flag. That's a free action. Puts the hitman into a into a, in a difficult position, and we can. essentially bring them very close uh, to falling over. Good, the overwatch was helpful. More enemies are coming. Well, that's his death sentence. He's going to die by explosion. <clears throat> Too bad. Cheer up moves up. We are actually throwing a plasma grenade over here. That car might explode as well. And that was supposed to be a setup uh, to kill this guy. Weapons running low. Dropping the hammer. Oh, that ends the turn. Ah, my bad. I figured it wouldn't end the turn. That was clearly a mistake. <clears throat> it did not say it ends the turn. And I've actually never used it as the first ability.
Our neural network is shrinking. That's not good. Moving over here. We gotta keep moving. Uh, we're still absolutely fine on healing. No worries. And we don't even need to use uh, the medkit thanks to our ability to simply leech health from enemies. Yeah, that's three hit points. Great. A very bad place to position yourself, my friend. All right, we're moving up and dealing damage at the same time. Good job, Sheer up. Good, that's one more down. Oh, and we're out of ammunition. That is interesting. You know, given <coughs> his ability to <coughs> overwatch, I actually don't want to be out of ammunition. I'm moving here, overwatching, so that that guy will take a shot. Or the other. Well, that's a long shot. Moving over here. I'll save the cooperation for a bit later. Is this here still seeing him? Yes. Okay, perfect. Birch moves up. And we're simply taking out the Leg Legionnaire. He heals for four points of damage every round. Okay, kinetic shield. Yes, please. Definitely moving over here. We don't need to extract yet, so we can be a target for them. Yeah, let's not overdo it. We're just moving out of here. Swift and steady. Get an Overwatch for free. That's perfect. What? Oh, he can theoretically extract every single turn, so...
Yeah, our characters are very tanky now. You made your choice. <laughs> She's barely taking damage. Cheer up, on the other hand, is taking some damage. Great, I'm out. Headed worm needed. Good move. Okay, we're ending her turn. <clears throat> and I think we can extract everyone now. Alright, let's get Chirab out of here before he's too injured. Birch moves out. And further reinforcements are coming in. Is the game having problems again? I don't know why it would, because I'm almost out of there. But it seems uh, that we have recently rebroken the reinforcements. Uh, and I thought I had it repaired. Alright guys, restarting the game. Alright, we're running again. Apparently, at least when I'm restarting, the reinforcements are coming back, so it's not like before. Where the game crashes completely. And that is the perfect time for us to get out of here. Good. We captured 8 enemies, so that's another 20 extra intel. The last time that I was playing this mission, I, it felt much more difficult. Uh, maybe because I've... I've not noticed the reinforcements coming in. They can be quite overwhelming if you're not taking care of them. And I found myself in this like unhealthy pattern of being locked down and then needing to shoot my way out of it. So luckily this time it was much, much smoother. 20 intel, a free field team and unrest reduction. That's perfect. Ooh, look at that promotions already. Oh yeah. See the contents of your unmarked takeout container? Yes. Uh, wait. On the end of my fork? No. As I ate the last Good. Terminal. Sends out the gremlin to all allies, restoring four oh, hit points, no. cleansing burning acid poison, stabilizing all allies bleeding out, and one use permission. Definitely a great ability. Probably in easier missions, not necessarily. Um, as useful because you're never falling behind but think about the following if the enemy is really and truly trying to overpower you and everyone has taken damage then that here in my perspective can be the solution so she just hit the highest level which is perfect to give her the ability uh, to uh, gain her special feature the guardian ability so everyone on level 5 with sufficient training even can further uh, train their abilities so our prime team now slowly but surely starts to dissolve over time as we're putting new characters in and I'm going to uh, we're going to uh, do that in a second let's shortly see what uh, the scavenger market has to offer oh we don't have enough intel yeah that's a great um a great um utility item by the way two actions immediately is perfect for free action damn it okay so i was about to say that frees up a couple of characters and i think 
what we would want to do is level the ones that are still at level 1 because now that um, each of the higher level characters will slow and uh, so or drop out I want to make sure that the newcomers once we are completely switching the team to the other um, characters that they are not just level 1 characters maybe at least for once get a level or two um, she will not need her loadout at the moment so we're going to free everything up and instead Torque was uh, recently joined Torque plus Magweave by the way is a brutal combination Torque is a character who starts with 20 dodge you can further increase the dodge so um, she will eventually have 40 natural dodge and 50 on top of that makes it so that she definitely can tank a lot of shots Okay, sounds like a good setup. Plasma grenade. Instead of the plasma grenade, let's use the flashbang here. And the plasma grenade here. That's fine. Okay. I'm not the biggest fan of plasma and uh, flash grenades. Uh, it works, uh, um, of plasma and shrapnel grenades. It works well against armor targets, but then again, you don't necessarily need that. So we're grabbing this here for free. And uh, we can then get a bit more Illyrium. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. By the way, I figured out the field teams do not help with the blue missions. Good. The game is now forcing us to finally investigate. That's not a bad idea. Agents earn 20% more uh, XP on missions for the next five days. Um, could be good because it will allow us to level faster, but I think we're okay with the leveling speed. So I would probably continue building up the city because we are crushing it at the moment. Got a free upgrade here, so might as well um do it yep deployed our field team so look at that we got a rank three field team here rank three field team here rank three field team here that's three times we got one two three rank two field teams and three rank one field teams so i feel we're doing actually really really well with building out the city much better than on my first playthrough and all of that thanks to the like focus on really getting the resources on the strategic layer we're going to be swimming in money afterwards nanomed kits have been upgraded and are now healing six so it's a great opportunity to start researching pistols Oh wait, 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 that is, that is much better. We do have a spare agent at the moment and I would like, I mean, training is good, don't get me wrong. I think we should go with assembly for now because that will increase our research time even further. Then afterwards we're going for training and then afterwards we're upgrading spec ops. Yeah, I figured we are doing that a bit later. I wasn't aware that that's already unlocked. 
but sure. We gotta use our agents in between the actual missions. Good, that brings us to the end of uh, today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, have comments, um, leave them down below. Otherwise, hit the like button and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.